you can come across some very unlikely partnerships. There's the fox and hound, the cat and fiddle, and even a George and Vulture. But there's one partnership that's a natural, a pint and Castella. A Castella cigar, long, cool, and satisfying. So whatever your pub, whatever your pleasure, you'll find a pint and Castella. Get them together. Hi YouTube, FT um, here. The house are keeping. I'm about to smoke my Polish made signature pipe. Uh, it's empty at the moment, but I'm going to be loading it up with Squadron Leader. Wow. Colin, your package is here, ready to go. I'll post that tomorrow, Saturday, today's Friday. <coughs> so, two very quick things. I purchased a microscope with Patrick's assistance um, from eBay. And the people that packed it and sent it to me, um, although they packed the box the microscope was in, they didn't pack the inside of the box where the microscope was. So the microscope was rattling around inside the box and it smashed this box to pieces. Two of the sides were split um, into. It's got dovetail joints, they all came apart. It's a real mess. So uh, it's one of the projects I'm working on. I went out earlier this morning and took some photos and made a little bit of a video just showing what I'm doing, what I'm working on. So I thought that might be a little interesting just to show you. Okay, so here's the uh, cabinet. I'm leaving the interior exactly the same condition that I found it. I'm obviously repairing broken parts, but I'm not doing anything to the patina in it or the scratches or the dents or the knocks, just leaving that. But the sides, I basically have to read them, all the sides. This side here was actually, if you can see this line, it was split in two. So I've had to glue the two halves together. I've started to sand this side down. All the dovetail joints came out, so I've had to reset those. You can see that split quite clearly here. So that's it's going to be sanded down and then varnished so the split will still be there you'll still be able to see what damage was done on it this is the lid the top with the carry handle this is all that was left of the carry handle the metal strap and this tiny piece of leather that was tucked underneath one of these caps that used to cover the whole strap so I'm getting a replacement strap That'll meet the same dimensions as this one. This has been started to be sanded down. As you can see the inside, I'm leaving. This is the back. Now the back was also split in two. If you can see this down here. Totally split in two parts. It's now been uh, glued together. I'm sanding it down. Again, leaving the inside, it'll be uh, just slightly rubbed, but I'm leaving all these marks and dents and scratches on it. This is also glued here because it's split, and there's a piece missing. That'll stay missing. We come to the worst part, that's the door. That's better if I show it sideways. Obviously it's got the latch. And it's got the logo, so this will be staying like this. This top part here is the mortar and tennis joint, because you can see from the bottom part of the door. And this part here is missing, totally missing. And the whole door is split. This whole piece of wood here is gone. <coughs> so what I will be doing is getting a replacement part for this. It won't be the same colour, so it won't be the same patina, but it will sit here. And this gap will be left. The door will be left, because I don't want to destroy this logo, which is just stenciled on. <coughs> and this is the inside of the door. It's got its brass hinges, 
I've got the latch for this but the key's missing so I'm taking the latch to a key smith to see if they can uh, get me a key that fits and if not I will have to see if I can purchase a replacement this here you won't be able to see it but it's got a date on it of 1932 So that is the project I'm currently working on. Oh, something I did want to show you is on the lid, this piece of wood here was totally crushed uh, and ripped out and it split the underside of the lid. So that's been rebuilt basically and uh, re-glued in. It acts as a rail when the, on the lid, when the, when the lid fits in like this. It actually acts as a rail guide for a unit that slides into here. So it's coming along. It's Let's see here. Parts were ripped out. I have to put a bit of it glued on, so I'll have to sort that out. But basically, the whole box was destroyed because when the microscope was shipped to me, it wasn't anchored down. The idea is that you're supposed to put a screw mechanism through here that locks the microscope in its place. They didn't, and it rattled around and bashed around, and it knocked the box to pieces. Fortunately, the microscope itself is all right. <coughs> so uh, that's my project. Also, it wasn't until I finished making the video yesterday where I um, got this lovely little cavalier from Mr. TP Pipes that it dawned on me that this is a smokable pipe, but it actually, and this has been confirmed by the maker actually a tamper for the large pipe I mean how cool is that that's, but it, it's smokable it's actually usable I did think that the bowl was quite small and you'd have about two puffs two or three puffs and it would be gone but it's a brilliant idea You can see it fits perfectly as a tamper. So thank you very much for that Thomas. Uh, today as I said it's Friday the 31st of August, the day after my birthday, but I'm still off work. I always take two days off work. Uh, so far touch wood. I haven't had to work on my birthday for 20-25 years. So that's quite good, I'm quite pleased with that. So I'm going to carry on with my restoration work on my little cabinet, smoke a few pipes, have a few cigars, have a few rum and cokes, watch a few DVDs and basically chill again today. It's not raining at the moment, it's quite sunny outside, so I'm hoping it'll stay like that. It'll be a better day than yesterday. My thanks to everyone who sent me birthday wishes. That is brilliant. Thank you so much. It's really, really great fun reading some of your comments. And a special, and I hope you will all agree, a special thank you to Make and Change Mark and Grandpa. Thanks, Grant. I'd fight alongside you any day of the week. Cheers. Thanks for watching, everyone. Keep them alight. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time. <laughs> Cheers.